Hello and welcome everybody back to the League of Hundred Gentlemen of Warfare of Anno 1800. And yes, I know in the last episode I have been a bit salty. Mainly because, well, there's <laughs> so much shit going on right now and I'm not really happy with it. But yeah, let's see if we can make peace with her. My condolences. No. Okay. That's sad. A new commission? At least we tried. So, um how's our rum and cotton route going? I mean we have two ships on the way. Maybe we will even add a third one. No not really, we will need that for emergency. Um for emergency deliveries. The pendulum swings between contentment and So there are a few things running short. Um, first of all, rum, and then also for some reason our sewing machines. That is something I'm not really willing to accept. First of all, we'll go for more of these. We shall build one more sewing machine factory. A new commission? And that should then completely aid us. I feel And then the next thing we could go for is oil. And with oil, we can make our people happy, though we haven't unlocked that desire yet. And we could boost our factories quite a bit, so that Ship we can reduce the number. How to annoy people with a single... Yeah, and I can't really afford to send our ships away from the south, because in the south, you're producing goods so low because you don't have space to build properly. It's just... Ah! A ship was destroyed. Really, the war system in this game is so shit. You re I really have come to the belief that if you play without AIs, you will have a much more pleasant experience in this game. An influence bonus. That is really not the verdict that you want to hear in a game that is also about diplomacy. Interrupting our trade routes. I don't like that. I don't like that. Hi. Okay, but good thing we still had that one. Resume game. We don't want to quit it. Oh my god, fur coats are arriving. <gasps> I'm missing particular materials. Confounded tricky this day. Wait, ah, there's still some. There is still for cotton. Cotton fabric. One final look. You really can't decide if you want to rise or to. We have taken to calling you the master among many changes. Really? 
say. Okay then. Mm, we wanted to streamline our islands. Flagship awaiting instruction. A competitor's island withstood an attack. At least these two. Meaning we will build a few commu uh, two commuter piers. And probably also here another another city district. So that we can upgrade all those. And that should then heavily increase the amount of population that we have. And that allows us to build a larger war fleet. And then we can finally get rid of Margaret Hunt. She has Please become too has dangerous. Ended. I should have ended the war with her when I had the chance. Now I, I will correct that done. mistake. Well, at least Kasparov is also making some progress. I really hoped he would have gotten uh, to investors by now. I mean, we are now... The game time is nearly 19 hours. And none of the AI has got investors so far. So... to rummage in the old sea chest. Islands with commuter harbors may share their workforce with other islands. Build a commuter harbor on another island to share workforce. I will. Once my flagship has, a, a flagship has arrived here. Attention for the Admiral. In order, to, uh, in order to give it all the concrete that we have. Awaiting instructions. So now we can build a commuter harbor or commuter pier. Okay. It's sextant time. We can hope for fair winds, nothing more. Okay, and now they just share the pool. That's awesome. It's not raining unless it makes your head bleed. Good. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that is the right size for the district. Ah, oh, Anne, your nose is so nice to me. That will really help me fight against your relative. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Ship of the your ship reporting. has returned from its voyage. Is the worker happiness so low? It is the working condition. has returned from its voyage. Holy shit, I totally forgot about that. Ship under attack. Yeah, you can't make some adjustments. Because there's always an AI attacking you. I have no words about how annoying it is. 
Okay, we will also go down here, and in worst case, we will just... No. Yes. So, in worst case, we will just manually make some adjustments. Your ship has returned from its voyage. Schnapps building materials, that is okay. We shall prevail together. We shall prevail together. My roots crisscross the globe. We shall prevail together. So I have now four ship of alliance as escorts. That should hopefully make a change. Ship under attack. Your ship has returned from its voyage. At this point, she got so many islands, you can barely move through the world without getting shot. This is just disappointing. Yeah, it makes me really sad. I had the chance to remove her. A fire broke out. And they An did not do it. In one of your factories. Dum -da -dum. Now come on. Extinguish the fire. We haven't got all morning. Your city has grown more beautiful. The fire has been vanquished. Ship under attack. What are you doing? You were supposed to escort ship a ship. Set sail. But apparently it prefers to do its own thing. You really can't trust the ship AI with anything. How shitty is that, please? How am I supposed to protect my trade routes if my ships are ignoring my orders? I forgot that apparently happens. We shall prevail together. Whenever you have ships that no, that can't be the reason. We shall prevail together. They have when ships leave the world, the trade ships that are supposed to be guarded, then it might cause bugs actually. So, and now... We can go for this. Oh, time to slowly turn this into a true city. Despite all the issues that we might have, we are still making some progress. Save. 
some good progress, as I might add. So, with 12,000 people, we get to the next uh, to the next rank. So, and before we lose here the colony again, I totally forgot about that. We actually still need to build here a few cannons. That is now way better. And I will get two mounted guns. Do look at that, we gained more influence. Okay then, time to add a few more modern roads. Our city is now getting quite beautiful, actually. At least it is starting to look like a true city. Twelve thousand eight hundred, so we got now even more influence that we can spend into warships. If we had the wood to do so. Oh yeah, the commuter peers are actually making a difference. It's sexton time. them. I hope this all works now. And here we will have to be careful about all these goods since we had a drastic change in our population. <laughs> That usually means that we might need more stuff. Is under siege. Is it again his capital? Yeah, it is. We like to think independently. Fine. We'll top up the Ra ra ra, you big toff. Take your society repartee and stick it up your blunder bus. How could I possibly refuse? Every little bit could make a difference. A champion of civil rights? I... A fire broke out. Uh, in a badger in a residence, so... I'd rather kiss a monkey's dung. Okay then, so Arthur's colony is still doing fine. It is surviving, surprisingly. Shall 
Ship under attack. Has been back. There is no fighting it. Okay, on which trade route did we now lose a ship? Destroyed. You will not spoil the fireworks. One of your roots has a major issue. Yeah, maybe one of his issues is it that I lost the ship that was on it. Oh, they all stopped patrolling. They stop the escort. Okay. Sure, why giving you orders when you are ignoring them? Ceasefire has ended. I shall now build a fleet of again 10 or more ships. And then I will launch the attack, and this time I'm going to take all of her islands. So I'm sorry for those who expected more city building, but the game forces me to do something. And I can't do two things simultaneously, otherwise I would just lose. And uh, I don't think that you want that. So, I feel yeah. It reflects the times. I'm pretty sure you can forgive me. Can I interest you in this? Well, that, yeah, yeah that is okay. Okay then, so we have here a couple of ships. The last one is also currently about to arrive. Ship of the line reporting in. And which trade route was it actually? We can see it from the goods. New orders. Was our steel and cement trade route. Production will be We're able to keep up an attack. Ship constructed. Good. Now we can assign it to the uh, here. So there was the red pepper meat iron. Okay. And here, yeah, go on. We need, we still need canned food. Thing is, I now have to spend all these resources into my ship production, but I still could use it to increase the size of the city. Oh well. Mm, Gasparov, are you making any progress? Yeah, you started with the next district. Okay. Ship under attack. We'll fight on if you need it. And again, one of our ships is just suicidal. Wait! I ordered you. They're ignoring the orders again. You are my witnesses. I told them to stop escorting. What is this shit? 
Why is we ship AI so goddamn bad? There are things that simply should not happen. What happened now is among these. It should not happen. But okay, I guess it's time to end this episode before I'm getting really pissed off. I'm actually quite close to starting a new game just without AIs. But no, that would... That would be a would be the cowardish way. I'm building the ships. I'm going to destroy her, and then we shall all live happily ever after, right? So, I wish I could just take a screenshot of a commuter pier. I actually can. This is our new thumbnail. Yeah, the good old commute up here. Allowing us to share workforce between islands. So, this is... Uh, yeah, I really want to get rid of Margaret as soon as possible. Good thing that her new capital is not as much defended. And I will probably get rid of a few modules from Zoo and Museum to build a really big fleet. way stronger one than last time and before again 20 people comment that oh why don't you repair your ships first of all if i wage a war over here i need to get to our capital again for repairs the ship would never reach that destination because it has to cross five enemies harbors or i have to wait like 30 minutes just building a new ship is faster and cheaper so, and on the other hand, each crane costs a shit ton of influence. Meaning, I actually um, would reduce the possible strength of my fleet. Can this enigma be decoded? Perhaps there what is do a you way want? to put theory into practice. Does it all snap into place? So very coefficient. Okay, that was a little bit easy. Effects, bicycle factory, sewing machine factory, and... Why don't you just let me read the entire thing? And steam motors. Productivity plus 50%. Occasionally produces extra advanced weapons and steam motors. Okay! That's a good one. And since we have a sewing machine in there... So... But yeah, so, so you now know the reason why I'm not building repair cranes, because they cost influence. Here's again this crooked influence system. Ship constructed. Let the sails fill. Ship under attack. <sighs> again, of course. Oh yeah, so I already took a thumbnail, this episode is over, and yeah, you know what I'm going to do in the next episode, so if you belong to the people who want to watch for city building, then I am afraid the next episodes won't make you happy, but it is necessary so that I can build stuff undisturbed in the future, so please forgive me. I have to be resourceful. And again, we are running low on fur coats. So yeah, and if you have if you have any suggestions on how I could actually get rid of her easily, then please type it down in the comments or tell it to me to me via Discord. And it's now really time to officially end the episode. So if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Again, it is a great feedback for me. It shows me that I'm doing something right. It also gives me a bit of emotional support. Of why I'm actually doing this against Lady Margaret. It's just... It's so sad that this excellent game is being turned into a shit show, into a shit show because two systems don't work properly. It's really sad. So, and... 
yeah, if you have any other feedback, suggestions, and so on, then just type it down in the comments. I'm always happy to hear that. And you may also join our community Discord. You will find the link in the video description. And yeah, if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new episode, then just subscribe to the channel and ensure that notifications are activated. And with that, I say goodbye and see you next time in NO1800. Bye bye.